hey guys welcome back to my channel today's vlogmas i'm gonna be showing you how to make my favorite shrimp scampi dish it's so good and it's so easy to make so let's get started the ingredients you'll need is white cooking wine olive oil butter garlic black pepper salt lemons and of course shrimp so first things first you're gonna want to wear clean clothes or put on an apron um, make sure you're wearing comfortable clothes so that you know you could bust a little dancing because the food tastes so 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 good and it is mandatory to wash your hands before you start cooking with soap so I'm gonna wash my hands and dry it with napkins and I'm going to wash the dish that I am going to be putting my shrimp in um, so I'm gonna start cleaning my shrimp um, I like to split it in the back obviously this is just how you clean shrimp you have to get the black vein out of it it's not a vein it's actually poop but um, yeah it's <laughs> shrimp poop <laughs> so I'm just cleaning that stuff out so that we have some clean and delicious shrimp So now that our shrimp is all cleaned, I'm gonna make sure I wash my hands again because that bacteria on any seafood or meat is just really disgusting and you don't wanna spread it throughout your kitchen. So now I'm getting the pot that I'm gonna be cooking my shrimp in and I am going to put this pot on a low heat. So now I'm gonna start preparing our shrimp scampi sauce, which is the best part because this is where all the flavor comes in. So I'm gonna take that garlic and I'm gonna cut off the ends of the garlic cloves because we just don't need those. So I cut up all that garlic and I'm going to move on to the lemons. So I'm gonna basically like, you know, get these lemons ready so that all the juice comes out and I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm going to juice it because we'll be needing that lemon juice. And I'm using two lemons for this recipe. So this recipe served about six people. And you guys can check my description box for a link of the recipe I followed. And this is the amount of lemon juice that came out of two lemons. And it's really all I needed. So I'm going to start boiling some water in a really big pot. And I'm going to get this ready for my pasta. And now I'm gonna work on the pot that I'm using for the shrimp. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm also using four tablespoons of butter. And I'm just letting that olive oil and that butter just melt and simmer all together. And then I am going to put my garlic in and then I'm going to saute that for about 30 seconds to one minute. So now I'm gonna start adding my shrimp and I'm gonna just saute that for about one to two minutes while it's beginning to turn pink. And I am going to season that with some salt and pepper. So to start, I'm gonna use one fourth cup of cooking wine. And I'm gonna start small because I wanna make sure I'm adding and adding and tasting just so that I don't mess up my recipe. Just gonna add that in with the shrimp, olive oil, and the butter. And as you can see here, I'm adding a little bit more. This is when I added a half cup because I needed way more. After I added in more cooking wine, I decided to add in more butter as well, being that I was serving a large group of people. This served six people and the lemon juice did well. I didn't need any more lemon juice, so I just added exactly what I squeezed out of the lemons. And I am going to add a little bit of parsley on there. This is really optional. You don't have to add parsley, but it definitely gives it a really nice look. So now that my shrimp are all done, I'm gonna take my shrimp out and put them in a measuring bowl. And I am gonna start working on my shrimp scampi broth just because I want a little bit more and I can't really see it with the shrimp and I don't want the shrimp to cook too much. 
So this time I added a full cup of cooking wine and I just made sure that was all mixed together and I decided to add another four tablespoon of butter and some red pepper flakes. I love the touch of red pepper flakes. It gives it a spice and it just tastes so, so, so good. So once I'm satisfied with my shrimp scampi sauce, I'm going to go move on to the pasta. I'm going to add in some olive oil and the boiling water and I'm going to add in my pasta and this is going to take about like three to five minutes to cook. And I really like to use the thin linguine. It tastes so good with the shrimp scampi. Um, it's right in the middle of like regular linguine and angel hair. It tastes so, so, so good. So as I said before, I was super duper satisfied with my shrimp scampi sauce. So I'm gonna start adding in the shrimp just so that the sauce can adhere to the shrimp. And I'm gonna be preparing this for me to add my noodles in. So I'm gonna dump the noodles in a strainer just to get all that water out. And I'm gonna make sure I rinse it with some cold water so that it can stop cooking. Cause sometimes noodles still cook when they're not in the boiling pot. And I am going to start adding this to my shrimp scampi. And you wanna make sure you're adding this little by little because if you add all the noodles at once, it will definitely suck up all your fabulous juice you just created. So I'm adding this little by little and making sure, you know, it's not eating up my juice because then it's going to be a problem. So now I'm adding some Parmesan cheese and this is really just any type of brand. It really doesn't matter. And I'm going to mix that all together. And that is basically how I make my shrimp scampi. It's super easy. Um, it's affordable and it's very quick and it tastes so 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 good like you guys don't understand especially when it's like on its second day like sometimes leftovers be better than the first day it was so good like i was shocked i've made this before but every time i make it it gets so much better especially being that i made it for six servings i was really proud of myself i'm still learning how to cook so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you decide to recreate, then make sure you tag me. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next Vlogmas video. Bye, guys. Previously on my channel. How am I ruining you? I'm trying to help you. They use meth, cocaine, and opium to make that. You a big flirt, so I already know. I'm not. She thinks I, I flirt because I say, I'm gonna check the door first. Don't worry. The spicy crab roll with avocado, right? And once I finish, I'm, I'm done. Go sleep Yo. on the couch. Yeah, right. You're an abuser. Now I'm abusive. Y'all hear all these things he's saying? <laughs>